What I have is known as HSAM, Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory. It's like a fancy name. They don't call it hyperthymesia anymore because that sounded like a disease. But, but what it is is they've taken 300 measurements of my brain. They've wired me, put me through an MRI. And in these 300 measurements, they found nine areas 10 times larger than the normal brain. So they're assuming that that's where it is because all of the people who have this have been gone, yeah, they, they've gone through MRIs and it was the same thing. When you read lines, it's kind of two-dimensional. And it's a different part of the brain because it's like a visual thing that just kind of happens. But I mean, not ha kind of happens, that's where it is. But um, with HSAN, you you kind of fire on all cylinders so when I think about reading a script I, I'll remember where I was what the weather was like what the day was like what I was wearing what in the character what what the character's life reminds me of in my own life things like that it was called the memory kid as a child memory girl univac which is the old uh, uh, computer and people said I was the family historian it was no tell it to Mary Lou because she'll remember you know and to this day my siblings will say mayor do a week from our childhood, you know, and I'll just pick a random week and go through all the days of, that we went through. Be glad you're not married to me. I just had a fight with my husband about a memory thing. It's like, don't embarrass yourself. You don't remember? It was blah, 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 blah. Don't you remember I said, blah, 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 you know. So I can drive people crazy too when they're close to me. <laughs> and happily, I do.